All right, round two, fight. Um, I guess we keep this. We're on the play. Yeah, we, we have got, defeat. Yeah, we got <laughs> defeat, and then we just gotta get like dutiful attendant into like lotus pathogen into vulture saven. Mm -hmm. Or maybe if we can get the death fang out before the vulture saven, we can go into magical Christmas land. But yeah, you never know. It's got potential. Could get a little destroyed by Moto, but... You just mean by probability at that point. Yeah, but... I mean, it is Moto, but it's also probability. There's also always that special Moto flavor. Special Moto flavor. Yeah, salt. Salt laced with tears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> laced with broken dreams. <laughs> oh, oh, no! That's actually like one of the worst cards for us, possibly. Yeah. Oh, we have attended as a one two. Okay, that play that. Yippee! <laughs> well, a one two blocks goblins. Yeah, so one two does block goblins. You know what doesn't block goblins? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing does not block goblins. Turns out. Nothing you... does not block. Yeah. <laughs> I know, that sounds like a double negative, but we're taking nothing as an actual, just literal nothing. Mm hmm. Sure. Suppose we kill it one of two ways. Ugh. Mm, Which is better, vile? I think just using the vile. Might want to kill it now, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we're entering that special moto brand of hell. Mm hmm. Where you just watch in agony. As your opponent plays things and you just sit there. Die. Sit there and die. Yep. Maybe he missed the land drop. Hey, he he did! Land drop. That's good for us, actually. And land? No. No land for you. you have Alright, to... well, we get to discard a actually, creature. Actually, I think here. I just defeat. Oh, yeah, I can just discard a creature so our dutiful attendant becomes better. So we'll just discard the djinn, I think. Maybe the 4-4. Four four. Like, we're never getting to it at this point. Yeah, we discard the 4-4, four four, we play that, and then we play that, getting the 4-4 four four back. Yeah. Yeah. If it dies, of course. Well, this exploits that. Yeah, we know. But he doesn't know that. Sure. Okay. Fireball was probably the worst card to draw in our deck. Probably. Probably, actually, yeah, the stone worst. Oh, boy. That card's really good. It can be. Hey, I got a 1-3. Now this is not probability at this point. You yeah, I think, we, that, I, think right? we've, I think we've beaten probability. <laughs> yep. I think we're just into that Moto brand of hell. Um, we get to block a goblin token. Or we, get, we take four, next turn we have Coat with Venom. Yeah, it's a two for one ourselves. Why it becomes a three five against Oh yeah. Oh, hi, another one of those. Land? Alright, I'll accept it. That's um oh, good. I think I defeat a token and then leave this to crack for a swamp in response to kill one of those. Wow, this is sad. Oh, I know. I'm not saying it's not sad, but Defeat! Beat it gets bigger. <laughs> Be defeated, Mr. Token. Be defeated. And then what? And then use the obvious coat with venom in our hand. Well, that, but then what? Then we play... Uh... Yikes. Hi. How's it going? Good, huh? That's good. So, yeah. We're dead? Are we actually no. dead? No, we go to one. Fetch line kills us, right? Oh yeah, the fetch line kills us. <laughs> yeah, let's just scoop. Uh, I think I've had enough to know that land. Never see another land. Oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> I think we bring an updraft elemental. I think we bring an updraft. Uh, updraft elemental does not fight a four two. But it blocks a lot of his other stuff. Sure. I think it's good. Fine. Yeah, Do we want his... Okay, well, let's not submit. we got to cut some. Right, I haven't submitted yet. I'm just... Oh, boy. Um... Alright, so... It's fine. We got a little variance. A 
little variance. To, mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I think we take out coat, maybe. Maybe packed actually. The fireball. Uh oh yeah, I think versus him we don't want the packed. I think versus him we actually don't want defeat because it's sorcery speed. It might still be okay. I think he's probably running a bunch of other red stuff. And it kills morphs at the very least. Sure. Which, for sure, he's running some. Right, alright, yeah, that's fine. I guess a keep. I think it's a keep. This could be a very disappointing end. Let's just not even go there. <laughs> Would a six be better than this? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, we got a creature that we're gonna play on cue. If we once we hit our third land, we have a morph. We have two of our best cards. Mm-hmm. Three, of our, three of our best cards now. Three of our best cards. I mean, this has all the makings of a great hand. Yeah. Whether or not Moto accepts that <laughs> is a different story entirely. He's missing red right now, which is nice. Yeah. Moto temporarily is willing to accept that this has the makings of a good hand. Okay. Temporarily. Alright. Go, go, we Grey do, Ogre! We do need um some black mana sources here, though. Hmm. He, he plays a he Grey plays Ogre. Grey Ogre. Yay, Grey Ogre's for everyone! <laughs> okay. Alright. Blackland is the nuts. Um, so I think I swing with this. Actually, I think I swing with both. Hmm. If he trades morphs, I don't think that hurts us too badly. And this shows that we might have, like, a trick or something like that. Yeah. To kill his morph. So I think, yep, he just takes it. Very yeah. sneaky. So, um, Swamp, I think, just goes crazy. Yep. For us. Because then we have Solemngar's Command as a kill and counter. And then eventually buy it back. Yeah, and eventually buy it back, too. I mean... Come on, Swamp. Boom. Oh, the sickest. Okay. Alright, so, I think we're in good shape. We're just gonna keep hitting him for some damage here. This guy costs one more to unmorph, but then again, there's nothing in there just yet, so... I think, the f I think if he goes, like, any non-creature spell, even that... I guess I just go bounce kill. Yeah. So, um, choose target permanent. That one. Choose target creature. That. I, I'm like, oh, it didn't even let me choose my modes, but there's only two modes that work here. Mm hmm. Fear the wrath of the command. And he scoops. What is that one? Uh, it deals one damage to a target creature player, and it's a 5 1 oh, sure. morph for 3. The card's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Well, disappointing for us, disappointing for him. I think <laughs> everyone's just played disappointed now. <laughs> um, I think we just... Do we yeah. want, like, these Ancestral Vengeances versus him? I don't think so, actually. I was thinking about that before, but I just don't think it's worth it. Yeah, we, we might want the random 2-2, two -two, though. The Marsh Hulk? No, the 2-2 the, oh, the two -two for 2. Yeah. Yeah, we might. Just as, like, a blocker. I don't know. I think you're actually right. I think we actually do want it. What do we take out? Contradict? Yeah, I think it's Contradict. It's just such a slow card. Yeah, like, I like Like, Command has actually got all the good modes to it. Contradict's just slow. Mm-hmm. Holy crap, we have three mana of different colors, <laughs> and we're on the draw, and we actually might get to do things without, you know, to having to top deck every single thing. Uh, I'm scared, John. I'm scared. He kept on 7-2. And he has red. Uh-oh. We do have this updraft elemental, though. We do have an updraft elemental. 4 mana is good. 4 mana is good. 4 mana gets us into Drowner. 5 mana gets us into Slumgar's Command. And that gets him a... 2-2. Two -two. As long as you control red or white. Okay. Right, so it's going to be a 3-3 three -three first striker soon. But... Okay. Or three two. Yeah. So updraft elemental is pretty good here. Because mm -hmm. um, it just blocks that thing all day long. Theoretically. Theoretically. Oh, oh boy, that's a card. That is a card. Well, 
I think if he wants to kill our updraft elemental, he is welcome to do so. Right, I'm not gonna deny him the ability to kill our updraft elemental. Have we drawn only lands? We have. Yep. Okay, just just checking, just checking. Um. <laughs> yeah. If we don't need the double black for much, right? Uh. Now that pact is gone. Yeah, I think since we took out the pact, we actually don't need it at all. Sure, morph. Yeah. All right. So, um, do we just run out interceptors a three-one? Yes, and the reason I'm going to say that is because. If he doesn't straight kill it, we can swing and then sack it to drown her. Yeah. Gotta be a little careful. I wonder... Oh, no, this was really bad. Oh. Why? His me it's a mega... That's the... Oh, one that's th the red megamorph that's just yeah. gonna kill it. Uh, ah. Yeah, no. it, well, if that's the megamorph. If it's, if it's a different one, we're in fine shape. But if that's the megamorph, then... Well, that's gonna suck. Yep. Alright, that was bad. <laughs> that was real bad. Um, so I think we're taking six from that thing, yeah. blocking the brawler. Oh, and this thing can now... Yeah. Oh, he's just gonna kill that. Yeah. Alright, so he's gonna do us nine here. Um, we can command bounce kill. Uh-huh. Um... Oh, that was all... That was the That work. was bad, yeah, that was a real bad play. Alright, so we're gonna command kill that, bounce that. Um, try to regain a bit of tempo, and then we can have the Lord Master to get back the command again. So, uh, permanent is that, creature is that. Alright, so he'll replay his Brawler. No, he'll play a Gore Swine. Huh. And that. No sure. So, um, we have to just run out blockers here? Um, I think I just run this out and don't exploit it, and then have up a uh, right of undoing, I guess. Hmm. The two four. Or do I block just, some brawler? Or do, or do I just run this out as a morph block there, take three, and deal with it by playing a two four to block the brawler next turn? So. The okay. two four uses more mana this turn, which right. Um, what I'm thinking though is I think we run this out as a two two. This trades with the Gore Swine. This goes back to being a two two. Even if he plays another red creature, we have this as a two four that can block that all day. Well, the t if you just play the two four now, it just blocks. I suppose well, then we just we have take, to take four. four versus taking three. Doesn't matter. Prob maybe. Probably what if he? Just attacks with the three two next turn. You mean attacks with the four one next turn? Well, if you play the morph, he might just attack with the three two, and yeah, yeah I suppose that's fine. I think that's fine. I think we we'll play the morph. Okay. I mean, either way, we're in pretty rough shape. We need to find a real out to this. Yeah. Why didn't he attack with the crater elemental? Uh, how much? I think it costed one extra to make it an eight eight. Or okay. Eight, six. It costed one extra to make it an eight six. He only had two mana up. All right. Well, if he k tries to kill our morph, at least we get to bounce right this. Right of thing. undoing. So yeah, mm -hmm. we get to. Uh, that doesn't take effect till next turn, but it's a pain in the butt because it makes the warriors basically all unblockable. Yep. All right. Oh, what you got now? Stop playing stuff. Oh. Oh, hello. Cast um, with this. Yeah. So, we're going to go to one. Gross. Black the swine. So, we go to one. Or, yeah, I think we just go to... Yeah. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. I'm not going to lie, folks. I think we're just dead. I think the red black dash deck just has us here. Yep. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate. Um.
Overall, though, I think it was still a reasonable enough draft. I mean, I wish we could have made it to the finals, but it wasn't anything we were going to draw to get our butts out of that one. So, um, thanks for watching, everyone. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel, um, and we'll see you all in the next video.